We learned this week that the 2020 AT&T Byron Nelson in May will be the last one played at Trinity Forest Golf Club near Dallas, a change that removes another reason to watch a tournament that has struggled since its legendary namesake died 13 years ago. Trinity Forest got a lot of attention when it began hosting the Nelson in 2018 because it didn't look like any other venue on the PGA Tour. Instead of the tight fairways and thick rough that produces one-dimensional golf most weeks, Trinity Forest was a treeless, wide-open, rumpled, linksy landscape designed by Bill Kerr and Ben Crenshaw. There were a few reasons behind the change. Crowds were sparse, tournament revenues have dropped, and the logistics weren't the easiest. Then there's the course itself. 23 under par is one both Nelsons contested at Trinity Forest, three shots lower than the best winning total in the previous 70-odd years of the event. Trinity never played as firm and fast as its architects intended, but that owed in part to the tour keeping it soft in case the players cried foul. The contours of the ground game and the vagaries of the bounce aren't often appreciated by guys who play for a paycheck. That's apparent in the mutterings and head shakings we see at the Open Championship every year. Where the Nelson ends up is unclear. Perhaps the new PGA of America headquarters in Frisco, where Gil Hans is designing the courses. In the short term, maybe it returns to its former home at TPC Las Colinas, which players have previously voted the worst course on tour. The dumping of Trinity Forest is a loss for fans, though. It's one of the few venues on the regular tour schedule that holds any interest for the architecture aficionados among us. Take away Trinity and its slim pickings. The plantation course at Kapalua, though lousy weather ruined the unveiling of that renovation a couple of weeks back. Riviera, Pebble Beach for six or seven holes anyway. St. George's in Toronto this year. It's a pitifully short list. But leaving Trinity Forest isn't just a downer for design geeks. In an ideal world, courses would be more than just a stage where the action plays out in the weekly drama that is the PGA Tour. Courses can be a central character too, helping direct the plot this way and that. Trinity Forest had the potential to be that kind of course, but not the longevity. And its demise won't encourage other tour stops to opt for a bold choice of venue either. We've had two thrilling Hawaiian playoffs to open this calendar year. Let's hope that trend continues and our lead actors keep delivering performances that make us forget the stages they're working on could better showcase their talents.